What's up everyone? Today we'll be doing a cast test video with my new Cast King Speed Demon Elite. This is their fastest one, which is a 10.5 to one gear ratio. And uh, I have paired this reel on my Cast King Spirali rod. This is, I guess the specs are on here at the end, but uh, this is a seven foot, six inches, and uh, it's a heavy action. This is my perfect frogging rod. I've been using this whole season. If you guys haven't watched some of those videos, yeah, you guys can check those in the top right hand corner. But um, yeah, first time casting this. And I have 40 pound casking braid spooled on. And as you see, it's not full. And that's because I have taken the old line off my Speed Demon Pro. Because I, last time I went out, I snagged a frog on a tree and I broke some line and uh, I need to respool anyway. Uh, as mentioned in my unboxing video, if you guys have not watched my unboxing video for this reel, I am basically uh, ending my frogging season very soon, going to fall transition. So I'm gonna switch games, no longer fishing frogs and heavy cover. So uh, yeah, I'll be using this reel for more of a all-rounder, like a medium heavy rod uh, with 30, a 30 pound braided line. But right now for this cast test and video, I just wanna see if I can spool myself and also check out the braking system. Now, let me show you guys this frog very quick. This is uh, frogs I've been using lately. And this is a 13 gram frog. So it's a little under half ounce. It flies like a champion. Doesn't have any silicone legs. So it's perfect for cast testing. First thing we'll do today is we gotta set up the brakes because during the testing video, I had everything set off. There is one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six brakes here, centrifugal. So let's turn on uh, just half and see what's going on. So. On goes out this way, this way, and this way. And we'll close this. And I'm gonna leave it at zero here. Now I'm gonna adjust my tension knob. So there is no play going left and right. There's some right there actually. There's some right there. And one more for good luck. All right, my first cast. Oh, wow, this thing comes out quick. Interesting. Well, first cast softly. Eee, that thing goes crazy far. All right, well, let's bring it back for a second. Wow, I gotta say, that's uh, very fast. And I only use like half of my brakes. I might have to jack it up more, but instead of jacking the centrifugal brakes itself, let's use a side plate here. Let's just put it to max and see the difference between the two. Oh, wow, that have reduced my uh, the casting dramatically. And I can see and feel that this actually does impact very, like very good, very good, right? So I see where the micro adjustment works. Again, if you haven't seen the unboxing video, let me show you guys very quick. This is not a dual braking system. If you look closely here, right? You see this ring here? This is centrifugal force only, no magnets on the side here. And when you change this knob right here, this is a cone shaped ring that goes in and out and uh, the cone is closer, the, the narrow side is closer to the plate, the wider is actually closer to the spool. So as you increase the brakes here, it gets closer to the spool. So um, basically it allows these pins to touch the, um, the side of that ring and slow yourself down easier. So you set your brakes first, the tabs within the spool, then you adjust that, micro adjust that. So uh, yeah, that's a, uh, that's very interesting. So what we'll do is we're gonna half that and see if I cast far. The goal is to spool myself. Just a quick note, you guys look very close. There is a dot here, okay? So it is on five. I guess it's nine, so you know, I'm at the five. Let's see how this goes. So I can't, I'm close to spooling myself. So let's try again. I'm gonna drop the brakes a little bit, but it, it does go out very fast. Very interesting. All right, so let's drop it a little bit more. And I am at three. Ay -ya. No good there. Let's try it again. Oops. Let's go to four. That is pretty far distance, okay. Close to spooling myself on my Speed Demon Pro. I could spool myself at this 
this metal line. And if you guys have not watched my cast testing video or my actual tutorial on how to tune your uh, Speed Demon Pro, you guys can check that in the top right hand corner or in the link within the description below. But uh, on that video, I have more lines than what I have here and I was able to spool myself. So um, yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is interesting. I can't spool myself here. Now I could always put on ceramic hybrid bearings and see if I could do it. But right now I can't spool myself so I'm gonna drop the brakes again using the side. And just a reminder, uh, the centrifugal tabs right now is on half, which is only three tabs on. So let's put this to like three. Oops, let's get this wood chip off me because that's extra weight and uh, <laughs> wind. Okay, this is getting better, but it overspool at the end a little bit, but it's getting close, getting close. I'm gonna put one click off. So I'm at two. Nope. Yeah, I've been feeling the overspooling as I'm casting and I'm feathering it. It is very possible to spool myself on this. But uh, even though if I don't spool myself, I'll be quite honest, that's a pretty good distance. Now, I, I don't measure, right? So I don't really know how far it goes, but <sighs> I think that this is a pretty acceptable distance. Yep, I've, I am thumbing myself and I spooled myself. There we go, we got it. We got it, so I got used to the tuning part and I'm able to spool myself. So if I actually have full line capacity, I have a feeling that I could definitely cast amazingly far with this, uh, this reel. And I wanna note that you guys should check out the real test, his video, because when the original one came out, the first version, which is the right hand reel, there were some problems with braking system. I don't know how, how much you actually change the braking system, but there are some notable changes. For instance, uh, if you looked at the real test video, there's no arrows for the on for the brakes. And he did mention about the, the, the tabs were small, right? And some folks have mentioned about the braking was not that great. But right now, as I get used to this reel, I am spooling myself right there. Okay, let me put that back up. Okay, so yeah, I have a feeling if I have full capacity line, the first initial cast, you know, it's gonna dispense a lot more line out and I should be able to get further distance. But I'll tell you guys what, I will not know till next season because frogging season is officially over for me. I mean, even if I frog, it will be frogging open water. I'm not really fishing in, in heavy cover. And uh, yeah, this this right here is pretty impressive. I think I think I do better because this is barely spooled all the way, right? Let me sw wing it hard as possible and see what happens. But I tell you what, guys, I'm holding this reel right now. It does feel like it's slower than Speed Demon Pro because the other one it's, it's pretty bulky. This feels really good. Okay, that definitely 100% spooled. No problem. So again, three breaks and at two right there. But let me just drop that thing back to zero. I want to do that one test too. But gosh, guys, this thing comes in pretty quick. All right, let's do this one last cast. Don't backlash, Jimbo. <laughs> well, I guess I didn't really need that right there because uh, Jimbo mastered the thumbing, mastered this reel already. Look at that. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, this is pretty impressive for at least frogging.